Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to bringing to episode 38 of Hinogata Sky Pretty Curious. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. <clears throat> Yeah, that's not good. Oh. Yeah, that's really not good. Mm-hmm. Tsubasa. But pretty much everyone else, but also Tsubasa. been better for them to automatically you know be up there instead of initially right there that's just me <laughs> I, I mean th this like any other game that you play and they automatically like transport you towards the area that you have to be in and not the previous area you're supposed you were already in like <laughs> but it's okay Ah. Yeah, because this is something that you guys got to do. You'll be good enough. You're always good enough, Subasa. Never forget that. <laughs> Ooh, look at the mushroom. <laughs> oh, that's pretty China. <laughs> You can't go up there now? Mm. Believe in him. 
You wouldn't let the baby down, would you? Now we got this. Keep going. See, that wasn't so hard. <laughs> well, well, what if it was a Tanuki? <laughs> Okay, never mind. Maybe a flying raccoon. Oh my god. <laughs> no, a flying squirrel. That's what they're called. <laughs> oh, I, I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first, like, yes, I can do this. And then my child was like, mm -mm. me. <laughs> Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, because you know, air. Uh, well, that was easy. Thanks, Sora. There's not, um, pterodactyls up here, right? Y'all don't see that, right? Oh. My God. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Bye. <laughs> Seriously, the freaking sugar sugar room vibes. I love it. <laughs> Secretly hope that we could get another like witchy theme. Also, the three y'all are really shocked that they dropped they talked. Hello. <laughs> No, I mean, you're cool. Yeah, like the first moment, like, yeah, you scared the crap out of them and you even scared the crap out of me. But no, nah, you're cool. Well, I have a feeling that the dinosaurs had something to do with it. You have it?
So, but the question is, why did you take it though? Or if it wasn't you, why? Yeah, exactly. Why did you have it? Mm -hmm. Oh, were you cleaning it? Ah. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Or, you know, Sabasa can just transform to cure wing and just fly up there. Oh. Okay, but hold on. It's a big, huge misunderstanding slash an accident. I think everyone would understand that. Oh, that's messed up. True, but you can't still be so serious. I mean, sure about that. Mm. Here you freaking come. Not the mushroom and the Venus flytrap. <laughs> so I thought they would do with this specifically whoever's episode is focused. Like, the main focus. Besides, Tsubasa's getting the moment and such. Now, you see how, like, Sora's in the middle? There should be a portion, and maybe they could do this with the next freaking series, where they switch each person, and everybody gets a chance to be in the middle. I think that would be the best thing. I'm not 100% sure if, you know, because we all know that they're already on to the next series after this. We all know that, regardless. We're going to see that in, like, the next two months and such oh my god i don't even want to think about that because we're almost done with this show and i don't want this show to be over i feel like that with every damn pretty here series and i'm just like uh i'm gonna cry <laughs> Should at least one of you stay with him? Oh no!
Always gotta get the girlfriend. What are you going to do? But some still might like you. Don't be afraid, you got this. Now, you, hold up. You know there is not that many leaves, but okay. I love it. True, but yeah, you can tie them in a nice little knot. I think this is the first time that I actually heard Wing's voice up in that moment because normally you just hear everybody else but him. Uh, you gotta love this show. You gotta love this series.
Mm -hmm. And you thought they were going to hate you. It's really good leadership skills. Oh my god. So fucking proud. Mommy. <laughs> But you deserve it. Of course. Never think you're not good enough. Never think you're useless. You are not useless. This is not only to him, this is to all of you. And to myself. It's so freaking good. Oh my god. <laughs> Once again, his episodes are like top tier. I mean, especially because of the fact is yes, he's he's first everything. Same thing with Agatha. They're both first everything. First boy and first adult. Like still, that's just a highlight. And so we hope and pray that we continue the tradition going on into the next series. But for real, this was a very interesting episode. I mean, Going into a dragon tribe and trying your hardest, not only to get the jewel back, but also finding a way for them to earn their wings again to fly. Like, that takes some leadership skills, and that's what BB did today. Like, oh my god. Like, ugh. It's too much. It was so freaking good. I'm so proud of him. And I mean, I get it. Like, there are moments where he's like looking like, I do not really have these skills. I don't know how to do this. Like, psh, I can't do that. But no, he did and he can. And I'm just so proud of him. Like, he did such a damn good job. Like, oh my God. Literally him taking over the bird that was flying them to the island as well and like telling him to basically believe in him and trust in him. Oh my God. 10 out of 10 would freaking recommend. I just, ugh. So good. So proud of baby. So, so proud. Good job. Mm -hmm. oh, Halloween F is, oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god, it stop. No, I gotta wait for the episode to be over. Okay, I have to go back and look at that last little bit. They look so effing cute. Like, bruh. Hold on. It's a little awkward. Let's see. Yeah, they look so cute. Like, I, I love the fact that it's very matchy and such because both, um, my, okay, well, seriously, when you look at all four of them, except, like, um, L, <laughs> all four of them are kind of wearing jack-o'-lanterns, but at the same time, they could, like, two of them could be jack-o'-lanterns and two of them could be ghosts, but they all still look good in their respective styles in the same way. Did I just say L? I sure did. Yeah, I, I thought I said Hakutan. <laughs> Wrong baby. <laughs> There's too many babies from this series stuck in my head. But yeah, L, we are right. L, L looks adorable. Like, look at her. 
That's a baby. Babies look adorable in anything. Like, just so freaking precious and such. And I mean, this is a great way to, like, of course, because we are getting a freaking Halloween episode to just end out this month, because duh. But it does make me truly excited to see, of course, the Christmas episode with these five. I mean, because I feel like Delicious Christmas Party and Halloween Party was interesting. Both tropical... Did Tropical? Tropical? I think Tropical had a Christmas episode? I'm gonna have to go back and look. Um, we just know that, um, he, nope. Yeah, Healing Good didn't have a, um, a Christmas episode. And that was the one thing that I really, truly want, especially with the series and anything else going on thus far. Because of the fact is, I think the biggest issue, because, you know, at the time, COVID. And COVID is still bad, but not, I don't think, as bad. But when you, especially with those four or five episodes that we will probably never see the light of day due to that unless they wanted to put it on the DVD or the Blu-ray for Healing Good. And the, if they did, I mean, which would be a smart thing to do, I do kind of wish that someone, you know, fan sub those five or six episodes, whatever, how many we had left, and then being like, oh, hey, here it is. Because we still, I still look at that show, it is freaking underrated as heck. It is one of the, one of many underrated seasons. Even Delicious was very underrated because a lot of people had a lot of things to say about it. Like, they loved the premise of it, but I think it was just when we got very closer to the end, it felt more like a letdown season. But I still enjoyed it regardless. I think any season of Pretty Cure, I still love. Even though I have my favorites and my least favorites, I still enjoy all of them regardless. But yeah, 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 because I'm, I'm just hoping that the Christmas season, I mean the Christmas episode, is just as good as what we're getting next week. Because look at them! And we're going to see them in a really fun moment. I mean, like, yeah, going into episode 37's episode... With them, you know, with the Ageha and Mashido's, like, tree friendship and everything. That was a really cute episode. And I'm really hoping that with the remainder episodes that we do have left. Because we are getting very close. And I think after episode 39, I think the show is going to go on, like, a week hiatus before we get into the final arcs of this. Because, of course, this show is going to end by, like, always, like, Jan mid-January. January going on February, of course. But... I just still, it's going to be hard to say goodbye to these five because I love these five. And I mean, it's been like that ever since I've started reacting to Pretty Cure in a nutshell all the way to Kitty Kitta. But even before when I wasn't reacting to them, when I was watching them like every single week or sometimes I would wait like two or three weeks and then catch up. It, it always hurt to say goodbye to these characters because just like, oh, we're going to see him again in the All-Star movie, but when you're getting a whole freaking year of span of characters and you're learning more about them and learning about their hopes, their dreams, their, you know, what they, their hobbies are and everything else about them that you feel like you know them, like, not only as a character, but as a person. And when you get into those final moments of them, or with them it, it makes those really more like impactful but then at the same time it's super duper sad because you're like damn i'm not seeing these characters again for a hot minute like yes of course these five will probably be in the next pretty Cure film whatever we're getting after f and whoever is going to be the next like group and who knows how many is going to be in that group we're probably just going to do like I, I mean if it was my thing I think I would, do, I mean, we could still do the initial two. I, I'm, I think now I'm kind of ready for like a smaller group because like in the last couple of seasons, we've had big behind groups and such. I mean, I think our biggest is like Kita Kita with six. So I would not be mad if they wanted to do three or four. I mean, like I, I'm ready to see the Go Princess Pretty Here by, route where we're seeing four girls or four. It could be, you know, and if they really wanted to, two guys and two girls. Uh, it, it's just really, we won't know until December. And that's still a long time away. But still, we just gotta wait. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 38 of Hirogato Sky Pretty Cure. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday or Sunday for episode 39. But until then, I will see you guys all officially next time. Bye, guys.